research la scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. I'd like to bring to your notice that semen samples sometimes can have low fructose. What is this fructose for and how does it uh, contribute in the well-being of the sperm? What happens when there is low fructose? What are the causes? What are the effects and what are the treatment options when fructose levels are low? Well, fructose is a very important energy source for sperms. It is contributed from seminal vesicles. These seminal vesicles are a part of the reproductive system in men. When the seminal vesicles is defective, we'll talk about the defects, we'll talk about the causes, then the fluid content of seminal vesicles is reduced. Therefore, the sperms are also compromised. Fructose is a very important energy source, as I said. Therefore, energy is directly translated to motility. And therefore, the motility in such a sample is low. Let's look at the causes first. Congenital absence. If seminal vesicles are congenitally absent, if they are not present from birth, then not only the volume of the semen sample, but also the motility of the sperms inside such a sample is also compromised. Obstructive causes. Obstruction or blockage in the ejaculatory duct, which transports seminal fluids to the urethra, can prevent the mixing of seminal fluids and result in a lack of fructose in semen. Infection or inflammation. Any infection in the reproductive tract, uh, especially that affects uh, seminal vesicles or prostate, can also result in low volume of fructose in the semen sample. Therefore, the motility is also affected. We'll look at the effects in detail. Now, because the energy source to the sperm is not present, motility is compromised. In some cases, motility is totally not present and in some it's twitching or it is um, not long lasting. When the sperms are ejaculated and they are observed for some time, the motility does not last long. And it's understandable that the fertility then of such a patient is reduced. When the sperms are not motile, they are unable to swim and reach up to the egg to be able to fertilize it. Therefore, the fertility of such a patient is compromised. Let's look at some treatment options. Surgical correction. In cases where obstructive causes such as blockages or anomalies in the ejaculatory duct are responsible for fructose absence, surgical correction may be necessary. Surgical procedures like transurethral resection of the ejaculatory duct can be performed to address these blockages. Infections or inflammation. If there is a persistent infection which is causing low volume discomfort during intercourse, then the semen also is examined and if there is a presence of uh, infection, antibiotics are prescribed. These antibiotics after a stipulated time will show their effect and uh, in most cases the problem also subsides. A healthy lifestyle can also help maintain proper fructose level in the semen sample. Proper exercise, a well-balanced diet definitely contributes to the health of semen and sperm. If the problem persists, if the motility issue becomes so big that pregnancy becomes a problem and if couples have been trying for a long time, then there are treatment options available definitely. If the sperms are twitching, if they are immotile, there is a procedure called intracytoplasmic sperm injection within IVF where twitching sperms are picked up and embryos are made from it by injecting into your partner's oocytes. If the sperms are immotile also, a solution called as pentoxifilin, a chemical-like thing called as pentoxifilin is added to these immotile sperms and when the live sperms start to move, those sperms are selected and injected into eggs. So, there are treatment options available but definitely we need to look at the underlying cause. If there are infections which are evident, then treatment for these infections might result in better motility in sperms. If you wish to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.